Hello everyone, welcome back for another lesson. This is going to be a quick one about speed changes which is related to motion transmission systems. So because we're working with gears of sometimes different sizes or, or, or sprockets of different sizes and so on and so forth, um, there could be a speed change within the system. So a motion transmission we know relays motion from the driver to the driven, but the, the speed sorry, might change depending on the size of these components. So what is a speed change? Well, it occurs in a motion transmission system when the driver does not turn at the same speed as the driven. When we determine if the speed is increasing or decreasing, we always look at the change of speed from the driver towards the driven component. Okay, so that's important. We start with the driver, and then we look at the driven component. So is there an acceleration or a deceleration? So if we look at friction gears and pulley and belt systems, so there's rotation going on, and that speed depends on the diameter of the gear or the number of teeth of the gear pulley. I'll, I'll be using different terms, but essentially they all work the same way. So let's say I talk about gears in this case because my example has teeth at the bottom. So depending on the number of teeth, which is also a function of the diameter, well, the speed will increase or decrease. So if you look over here at my example, a larger uh, gear will turn more slowly. It takes more time. If you follow a specific tooth, it takes more time for that tooth to do a full turn. As opposed to if I follow one over here, it'll take much less time to go around full circle. So a smaller gear, less teeth, will turn faster. A larger gear, more teeth, will turn more slowly. So we always analyze from the driver to the driven. So here my driver is bigger, it's turning more slowly. So it's going from slow to smaller or faster. So there is an acceleration, right? Because we're going from a bigger to a smaller, a, a slower to a faster. So there is an acceleration. If both were of the same size, then the speed would be unchanged. Okay, so there's not always an acceleration or deceleration. Sometimes it's unchanged because the gears have the same size. Now we can calculate the speed change. We'll use a factor as an example. So here I have 60 teeth for the larger one and 30 teeth for the smaller one. So 60 divided by 30 gives me a factor of 2. So the smaller gear turns at twice the speed of the larger one. It's two times as fast. So there's an acceleration since the driver is slower than the driven. Now in the case of friction gears, we don't have teeth, we can't count the teeth, we're going to use the diameter for the calculation. So we'd use x amount of let's say centimeters divided by x amount of centimeters and we'd get a factor and we'd do the same analysis. And that's it for speed change, that's all you need to know. Ratio of teeth or ratio of diameter and uh, large is slow, small is faster and so you can determine if there's an acceleration or a deceleration when we when the movement goes from the driver to the driven component so that's it if you have questions please reach out otherwise i'll see you for your next lesson uh, which will talk about uh, motion transformation systems and until then take care <laughs>